Hey, this is Lee Manaka. How do I start this? Listen, okay. A whole five minutes of my video got fucked up. So we're gonna start. We're gonna jump into the deep end wherever it was that I started talking. I know I repeated myself a lot, so hopefully that works. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am Lee Manaka. This is my channel, Lee Manaka. Hey, welcome, baby. Boy. <laughs> So then what you start noticing um, is that your dreams, like for me, for example, I've always known I was psychic to an extent, but I didn't know how psychic. And I think I've said this in my other videos, but everybody is psychic. It's just the difference is we all have a different way of connecting to our guides of light and ancestors of light and our higher self. But we don't really realize it because it is intuition and it is gut feelings and and you just know, you know. Um, but once you delve into healing, once you delve into shadow work and understanding yourself. So what you start noticing is that your dreams start making a lot more sense. And not sense in a not sense in a sense that you understand why the concession is happening unless you are a dream interpreter and you have that gift but it makes no more sense that you're like oh i'm not dreaming right now i'm astral projecting or traveling or i'm lucid dreaming or whatever um so literally what i've realized with myself is that i always knew that i was psychic but i just didn't know how and everyone is psychic I've said this before um, it's just a matter of if you are connected or not um, your gut feeling is literally your connection to your higher self your guides of light and your ancestors of light it's literally that but a lot of us feel our gut feelings in different ways like for example um, I am able to connect with dead, the dead, the dead. <laughs> but I think my way of connecting with the dead is very different because I've only connected with either people who have opened themselves up to a reading with me or with people that are actually hold close to my heart. So if you are close to me there's a high possibility that i have connected to somebody who was close to you um either recent deaths or old deaths but it, it really depends if it's a conversation that we've had or but my connection is i can hear the voice only if i'm connecting i can hear the voice and i can feel the presence um but i can't see <laughs> the spiritual eyes like bitch we ain't gonna open up but listen I'm joking. um but i think in actuality i think the, the the spiritual eyes open in opened in different ways um the same way as i could hear and sense the presence of a spirit i think that is a in a sense um the opening of my spirit i was saying that is in a sense opening of the spiritual eye um because we all have different gifts the clay the clairs basically clay cos cos mm -mm -mm. i've written them at some point but it's the clear the the understanding the knowing there is the hearing the seeing the feeling the smelling um yeah I think that's all of them but I think that's a, already a connection to opening up your spiritual eye without having to see the spiritual realm you can see the spiritual realm in different senses you know and I feel like I get the opportunity to feel it with the actual sense of feeling you understand and and hearing um, I only see when I close my eyes but anyway 
I'm not talking about that. <laughs> so, um, I think we're all connected to our gut. We all have some sort of gift. Um, it's just a matter of whether we accept it and understand it or not. Um, so, meditation is good. And being in nature, um, sunbathing and sun gazing, and especially if you're melanin, if you're melanin, of course, um, and just a lot of shadow work to deal with anything that you need to cleanse out and declutter. Um, then I was going to talk about dreams. So, what I started noticing is after watching, what I'm just missing. Okay, after watching uh, Doctor Strange's, um, oh god, the multiverse, I realized something shifted in my understanding of dreams. And it's weird because a few days before that, I actually had a dream. Okay, my understanding of dreams after watching it was that we must be seeing another reality. Just like in the movie, we must be seeing another reality. Because as Hollywood and all these popular things that we're seeing that are seen as fake or fantasy is real, in a sense. Um, but we won't see it as real because it's not where we live, right? So what I realize is that our dreams are us seeing another version of ourselves in another timeline doing something else so the connection between us and that um, lifetime might be an answer to a question that we might have it might be an answer to something that we've been looking for um, and yes not all of the dreams that we have will be linked to another timeline but i feel like most of the time it is um i was talking on twitter about how i was saying that a lot of the time i get people that i don't speak to anymore showing themselves in their higher selves showing themselves in my dreams and when i say higher self i mean that when i see you and i'm interacting with you in my dreams I know that I'm not dreaming. I can feel that I'm not dreaming. Um, the way to know a lucid dream or astral projection, I think it's the same thing, but I'll try to explain it just now, is that I am literally, I can feel it. Like it's, it's almost as real as what now feels like. You, yes, the reality is not like, you see how dense reality is right now? The 3D is so dense right now. I mean, it doesn't look like it can be shifted, but in dream state, you can still feel that it's you. You're still the one taking the steps. You're still the one running. You still, you know, you can feel that it's you. Dreaming is just a flow, basically. That's when you're dreaming. But when you can feel that you're actually moving around and you're doing everything yourself, that's when you know that you're lucid dreaming. And now you're about to astral project or jump into another timeline or jump into another timeline so basically what i've realized is if you see if you're having a dream like this where you can tell that it's real and you see somebody whose energy they don't have to look like the person but their energy feels like them you will know it's them from your gut Once their energy, once, mm, <laughs> once you feel that it's them, they don't have to look like them, they don't have to seem, like, I've said this before, we are all energy and because we are all energy, we should be able to recognize energy for energy and in dreams that's exactly what happens. So if you can notice that that's the person that you have not been talking to, it could even be somebody that you talk to, then you know that their higher self is communicating with you. 
in the sense their higher self is trying to say something and if you get a message you don't even have to try um understand what the message is just allow yourself to write down the dream as soon as you wake up or put it on your notes on your phone and if you feel in your gut you like all of this has to do with gut work like understanding your inner truth and um your connection to your own higher self and who you are if you can feel it in your gut that you need to say and explain not explain um if you feel it in your gut that you need to tell the person about this dream tell them and then once you've told them about this dream what will happen is they will be able to how do i explain it so usually their higher self visits you right in the dream and whatever happens in the dream the higher self already knows what's the message so they're kind of passing the message through you so what will happen is if you feel in your gut you need to tell the person tell them what happened in the dream don't try to um don't try to 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 interpret the dream just tell them what happened in the dream and they will interpret it for themselves that's happened for me to me multiple times and i mean it's possible that it could be just the gift that i have but i have a feeling that there's more people who can look into their dreams and maybe not understand it from their perspective and what they're seeing but once you tell it to the person that you had a dream about it will click i'm telling you right now it will click so okay let's try to put this in perspective so when you have a dream okay once you do your shadow work lay, lay down the, 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 the um, foundation once you've been doing your shadow work once you've been um, connecting to yourself and your higher self and nature understanding yourself eating well exercising you know making sure that the energy flows through your physical spiritual mental emotional and energetic bodies then you will start to notice your dreams once you start noticing your dreams you will start noticing that you get connected to your the higher selves of people that you know especially people that you care about sometimes it is just people that you've met once in your life and then if you feel as i stated um the dream itself you will actually be able to tell if it's a dream or if you are astral projecting if you are lucid dreaming and if you are lucid dreaming usually i believe that it is a message and I did state that um, the Doctor Strange movie did actually make me believe that dreams are basically us seeing another timeline, seeing another version of ourselves. Um, I was saying that just before I watched that movie, I actually had a dream where that's exactly what was happening. I was at a farmer's market with my friends, my high school friends, and it was weird because the high school friends that were there kept so for for example i was sitting at the benches with my high school friends right next thing i was hovering on the side of the bench and then i went zoop, past came back to the same place sat down new group of high school friends but it's the same day and you could feel and tell that this is timeline shifting this is timeline changing and it kept happening and kept happening and i'm like this is so weird because it's me now but i'm at a farmer's market with different people with different friend groups and not not particularly different friend groups but more like different people like how every decision that you make becomes a different timeline so there's a certain decision i had made in every single one of those timelines that allowed me to be friends with that group that was there whether that was three of the same people and two that weren't you know or one that was the same and four that weren't you know and 
it was weird because that that feeling afterwards i was like what the hell just happened you know because i was hovering and it felt like i was on a bike and it was just, then i came back to the same place like paused come back okay different people come back like you, you could tell and then when i saw the movie the doctor strange movie where he was seeing another version of himself doing something and when he woke up he felt like it was real but he's like but that didn't happen in real life then finally meeting the person who was in a dream with him he's like that that didn't actually happen and she's like yes it does it was another version of you and i was like mind blown <laughs> so um i suggest you start with your shadow work. once you've done that go to um understanding the connections that you have with mother gaia make sure that you know what your elements are your sun moon and rising sign make sure you know what your elements are if it is air try to connect with yourself using air if it is fire connect with yourself using fire if it is earth if it is water connect to yourself using those elements specifically especially when you're trying to connect to your higher self especially when you're trying to do shadow work because eventually what you start to feel is more of a connection to your higher self and what you would want to do in this lifetime is to connect to your higher self and be a better version of yourself for yourself and once you become a better version for yourself you become a better version for everyone else you know and i don't know if you've watched the movie um everything oh, what's it called everything anything in every way everything anything everywhere at once hey i will write it down but it's basically a korean lady and i don't know i'm saying korean asian lady who gets connected to one of uh, so one version of herself and there's just entities that are trying to mess up the timeline and all of that and she has to do something crazy in order to be able like something she wouldn't do normally to be able to connect to the 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 things or the how do they call it to be able to connect to the things that her other version of herself could be. So for example I know there's a version of me that is a professional ballerina. I know there's a version of me that's a professional violinist. I know there's a version of me that's a musician, an artist, a, an actress. I know there's a version of me who is, uh, what else did I want to do? A presenter. I know there is a version of me because they are decisions that I would have made in those timelines that shifted, you know, and split into another timeline. And that just, that blows my mind that there is another version of me that is doing something else besides taking this video right now. And there is the version of me, not me right now, obviously, because I'm taking this video, but there's a version of me who decided not to take this video today. And she's shifting off into another timeline while I am here being me, baby. <laughs> But it's really cool. It's really cool to think about. But I hope I explained what I needed to explain. And if there are any questions, do comment below. Um, or you can find me on Twitter. Twitter is where I like my mind just opens up a lot. Because there's just so many ways to just share information. And well, it's not so many ways. It's literally just text. But I don't know. Something about text it just opens my mind up i don't know it's weird but i hope i did explain a bit um oh yeah i was saying astral traveling and lucid dreaming to me is the same thing lucid dreaming is basically feeling like it, it is real and actually being in a dream where to me that is connected to being in the feet of or in the memory of another version of yourself or in the life line of the summit of, of another version of yourself in that moment of your sleep right and then you are astral projecting into that so i believe that lucid dreaming astral projecting and being in another timeline in somebody's life in the shoes or your own life but like in another timeline 
is all happening at once while you're dreaming. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, and yeah, it was really, really cool to see you guys. I mean, I wasn't really going to make a video today, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. It's Venus Day today. I don't know if I'll post it on Venus Day, but you know, gotta just say that it's Venus Day. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Love, love, and love.